Hey, what's going on YouTube? Ali Primo here, and I'm back again with another video, a very informative video. And today we're going to discuss a topic that is, I think, is plaguing everyone worldwide that has a router or modem. Um, and that's people stealing your Wi-Fi. Um, most times we go to our ISP provider, we get our data or internet service and when we go home we want to use it in peace but nowadays like there are so many apps available to hack wi-fi is that the time you go home you could try your best to secure your wi-fi and for some reason these people can use the apps and still find a backdoor into your wi-fi so today i'm going to show you a way on how to stop leechers we call them leechers here in guyana from stealing your Wi-Fi. So without further ado, let's begin with the video. So okay, let's begin. What you need to do is log into your router. Log into your router. Once into your router, you need to click on the wireless and then click on the Mac filter. Now, this is a very important part. You see that if you allow, if allow is chosen and Mac filter is empty, WPS will be disabled. Meaning that once you ch click allow now at this point, you yourself will not be able to enter your Wi Fi. And the only alternative then is to reset the router by pushing in pushing a pin or something into that little hole or some router come with a reset button that you have to hold for some amount of seconds so you're not going to do anything now what you need to do is find thing and the link to thing is in my description down below you need to find the thing app it's on my left fourth app down thing when you open thing you will immediately notice all device on your router. So we have the modem at the top. That's the modem of itself with the MAC address. They have another TCT mobile. I don't know what that is. They have a new mobile G3. I don't know what it is. That's the, the Galaxy M20. That's my phone. And the Galaxy Tab is the other phone that I will be showing you how the Wi-Fi is blocked. How, how, how you can block the Wi-Fi. So click on I'm clicking on the Galaxy M20 and I am scrolling along this is your device it's there and you're scrolling all the way down until you see MAC address now when you see the MAC address you need to press on it and hold it and you will automatically copy that MAC address to the clipboard the reason why we're using this app is that you don't want to get the MAC address wrong at no time because doing that will set you back. You have to reset the router, right? You need to get the correct MAC address. And that's for any phone, any phone on the particular router that you're using. <coughs> Excuse me. The MAC address is there. That's what we're using today to block the Wi-Fi. So this is my MAC address. Press on it long enough and it will be automatically copied to clipboard. We're going to head over back to Chrome in our router settings and we're going to click on add. Once you click on add, oh my, this keyboard is so huge. Okay, I have to look for a solution for this. Once you click on add, just click on paste and that's my MAC address there. And then click on apply and save. Once apply and save, back into MAC address, oh my. My, something was wrong there, so. 
All right, it's going to take a while to pick up back the Wi-Fi. When this is happening, I have a very neat app that I use to immediately go in back to the Wi-Fi, and that is Wi-Fi Connection Manager. I click on it. And as you can see, I am automatically collect this this app is a lifesaver this app saves lives like when for some reason i don't know why these android 9.0 the 9.0 androids like for some reason once you turn off the wi-fi and turn turn back it takes a while to connect so i use this wi-fi connection manager up here to automatically connect back to the wi-fi okay back on to the subject at hand go back into the wi-fi I might need to refresh this page, so let me refresh it. Oh, I don't need to refresh it. Go down back to MAC address filter. And as you can see that my MAC address is there. Now, what I'm going to do there, other people using the Wi-Fi right now, so I can't inconvenience them for my video. So what I'm going to do is add their MAC address also. So I'm going to find MAC thing. Back out. And I'm going to manually add all of these MAC address that I need to be on the router. Copy to clipboard. Over back to the MAC address filter. Add. Once and add. Press the box and hold. Paste. Apply and save. Hopefully it does not jump off again. Because that will suck. Okay, it seems like, well, it's off again. I don't know why it's doing this. I have no idea, but apparently it comes off on command back when you add a MAC address to it. I have never noticed that before. I never paid attention to it. So what you need to do is copy the other not what you need to do, what I'm doing, because there are other people on here that is used, currently using the Wi-Fi. Back to my trusted app again. And as soon as I'm in there, it connects. I don't know why the default Wi-Fi app is not working for that. So, back into MAC address. Okay, so you see they have two MAC address. The one at the bottom is mine. The one at the top is the other person's phone that's using that thing. I'm going to add the last one here. Okay. I've added that normal routine. The Wi-Fi will come off again. I don't know why it's doing this. have no idea. So, before it starts the bug, I'm going to go over to my trusty companion Wi-Fi connection manager. And I will wait until it scans the route and connect back to the router. Simple solution for simple problems. Okay, so we're back over to the router. I think now we might have to refresh the page manually. So I'm going to refresh the page manually. Once the page is refreshed, back to wireless mac address filter mac filter we here you can see that three mac addresses are there the one at the top is a phone the one at the bottom is another phone the one in the middle is my phone which is a galaxy m20 now head on back to thing we're going to block this galaxy tab from using the Wi-Fi so we have well the modem is there by default you can't block that no matter what you do I don't think you could block the modem of itself so we've got all these MAC addresses there except the Galaxy Tab 2007 so 2017 so what we're gonna do for all uh, MAC addresses that we've copied there we're going to click on allow 
once click on allow they will be the only devices that are permitted to using the internet right no other devices will be able to use the internet once you click on the allow right i'm going to show you a split screen on what's really going on on my galaxy tab card that's my galaxy tab also let me go right back in here and wait for my trusted companion to do its thing connected back to the wi-fi okay now i'm going to bring up a split screen on what's going on with the galaxy tab okay so i have a tablet here in split screen view on the left side that's the settings for the tablet and on the right side that's a setting for the router opening the google chrome browser so what i'm going to do now is go and let you see that i haven't added the wi-fi mac address to the mac address filter on the router because this is the simulated leecher tablet the one that i'm that represent a wi-fi thief so the mac addresses are not there the mac address from this tablet is not there on the mac address filter on the router and you could do this two ways you could either add the mac addresses of the device that you won't don't want to connect to your router but i find it to be very difficult because of the fact that every day you have to be checking to see any new devices and keep manually adding them so what i recommend is you add the devices in your home any wi-fi enabled device comes with a wi-fi mac address if it's a television it's going to be at the back or it could go into the settings for those smart tv or whatnot you just check for the wi-fi mac address and you will be able to see it manually add it make sure you put every all the dot and the commas uh, or whatsoever you make sure you put it exactly how it is excuse the language because i'm so tired right now and I have a speech impediment i stutter a lot so i have to try to pick my words carefully and i'm kind of nervous as a new youtuber so what's going to happen now after clicking allow on the router when i click allow there what's going to happen that the wi-fi on the phone is the ssid is going to stop showing up then it's going to do its normal restarting like it's been doing all video but what happens when it when the phone pick it up back the tablet will not be able to connect the only devices that will be able to connect to that router my router is the devices that i put the, in the wi-fi mac address filter so these will only be the device able to connect to the router after i click on allow what's going to happen it's going to come off it's going to keep saying connecting 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 but it will not be able to connect to the router anymore only the three devices will be able to connect so i hope that my video helped you in some way and I hope it was informative. I hope it is clear enough. Don't forget to like and subscribe and share my video. It goes a long way. I want to do this professionally. I've been only doing this for a week now. So just excuse the editing, excuse the speech. I'm kind of nervous. I'm so, so nervous. I have a speech impediment and I have to pick and choose my words very carefully because I stutter. I have to also make it clear. So just bear with, with me, subscribe to the channel, like and...